Welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we will look at the two note wonder. This is an anchor point within the minor pentatonic scale that we can easily create many blues rock licks. This two note wonder will be an aha moment for a lot of you players. Grab your guitar and let's get into this. We always need to know the chords we're working with. Let's take an A, D, E. This is a simple one, four, five in the key of A. I will put a link in the description for this awesome backing track, but the A minor pentatonic scale works over this very, very well. This two note wonder, I call it, but an anchor point here in the fifth fret is just within this minor pentatonic scale. Just barring in the fifth fret, those two strings, the B and E strings in the fifth fret. This gives you so many options to solo with. It's an anchor point. It's somewhere you can you can really relax and let let those other notes flow from that anchor point. I'm going to break down some of these licks within the minor pentatonic, but stay with me because later in the video coming up shortly, I'm going to show you how this major box is connected to this anchor point also. So some of these licks in the intro, I'm really looking at this this anchor point here. <laughs> Full bend in the seventh fret of the G string, and then hit hit that anchor point. You can keep your hand barred for a lot of this because we are creating licks that really go back to this. I like to go down on the first two notes, and then up stroke on the last one. It's just easier for me to get speed for other licks. So we walk right up, full bend on the 8th fret of the B string, bending to the A note. And kind of hold it, a little vibrato there is a great way to play that lick. And the second part of it is walking right down, raking it from upstroke, the anchor point. So the bar, eight, release from seven, and then back to the root note A. All together. Lick number two, we're sliding up to this anchor point. So slide up to the fifth fret to your anchor point. Full bend on eight on the E string. Release, eight, and then back to five. That's just a good lick within itself. And then you throw that little major note in there. And coming up shortly, I'll break down this major box a little bit more. Then 
making that, that bend again in, in eight, bending up to the A. So that was just over the D chord there, going back to A. Now the E chord is coming up. So you're just a lot like some of the other licks, full bend in the seventh fret of the G string. Hit the anchor point, and then up eight, five, pull off. So you just hit the A string on the remaining as it turns around and keeps going. You can you I, I think I use this. I have more strength that way. But either way, it doesn't matter. What's ever comfortable for you. The second part of it, I'm using this blue note. But using this, so I'm, I'm hitting five, hammering on, pulling off, and then hitting the blue note. And really kind of got to tuck in here and mute a little bit to get this to ring good. If you, if you have some gain on it, it sounds a lot better. it off back to the A. So full bend, release, pull off to five. If this lesson is helpful, hit that like button. I really do appreciate your support. So now let's go to the major box. We have in the minor pentatonic here, with that, that anchor point here, we have those notes here in this little box. But the major is right at our fingertips with that anchor point. So if we hit this box and hit major notes, so striking that box, double stop, double stop here in the seventh fret of the G and B strings, it's like a little piece of the D, D chord, then hammer on from five to six, to the root note, A, in the seventh fret here. And you can repeat it. This is a great, you, you can just roll this. You need to be able to do that over and over. Then this time, as it goes to the D chord, hitting that little major note here, because we're, we're at D here. So we don't need to get technical with all the intervals, just knowing that major box is available. So I, I like picking all of these. Eight, five, seven, five. Walk right up from five, seven, eight. Full bend, so you're bending to the A note. Little vibrato. And then I, going back to the A, I like doing this little raking thing up with the anchor point. And then finish it off like that. 
just combining a couple licks that we already have done. But now when we go to the E, let's do a major phrase. Really still looking at this anchor point. Five, seven, full bend on seven. Release, back to E in the fifth fret. Then it goes back to the D and then back to A so you can go to those other licks. turn around it, that E note sounds good as it turns around every time. A great way to practice this is to use a metronome at a little bit slower speed but play through these licks. Make sure you have them clean. trouble with the lick you just slow it down even more maybe but go over and over it till it just becomes part of you I had a blast doing this lesson today this stuff is so fun for me I've been trying to do and get better at it for years hopefully you got something from the video we'll see you on the next one